Hello, welcome back to part 39 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to finish the high score class and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a function, the write high scores function. And that's a private for it. Write high score. And we're going to use a try catch block. So try catch. I'm going to catch an I.O. exception. And in the try, we're going to open or create a data file for writing. And we're going to use a file stream. So, file stream is new file stream, and we're going to pass in our file name and the file mode is open or create, and the file access is write. Right. Now we need to create binary writer. So binary writer and we call it the writer. It's a new binary writer and we pass in our file stream. Right. Now we can write the high score and we can say writer dot write and we're going to write the high score. Right? And now we can close the writer and file stream. So we can say here writer close and the file stream close. All right? And when we have this done we're going to say that the new high score is written so we can say new high score is equals to false. Right? Write the high score to the data file. And that's the write high score function. And now we need to build the update method. So let's do that here. And that's a public override. Update. And we don't need the base update, so we're going to delete that line. And the first thing we're going to say here that if is alive. And if player score higher than the high score. 
So if the player score is higher than the high score. So we can say here that if items dot player db and now we're gonna use the game one dot current player dot score if that is greater than the high score then we need to update the high score so we can say here high score is equals to items dot player db game one dot current player dot score All right now we need to set the new high score flag so new high score is equals to true All right. and here we say if there is a new high score and the game is over so if new high score and items pacman dot is game over then we write the high score That's the update method. So update, update the high score. Provides a snapshot of timing values. Now we need to build the draw method. So let's do that here. And that's a public overrides draw. And we don't need the base draw. So we can delete the line. And we're going to say here that if is alive. Then we can draw the high score on the screen. So we can say here sprite bets dot draw string and we're gonna use our one game one dot hut font and we're gonna draw the high score and we need to convert that to a string. And we can draw it on position. So new factor 2, 200 minus the high score to string dot length. And the i is 16. And the color is white. All right.
draw the high score on the screen. And that's the actual sprite bets. And that's the draw method. All right. And now we have finished our high scorer class. We need to add our high scorer class to the object list. So go to the items class. And the first thing we're going to do here is define the high scorer. So in the public section at the bottom, we're going to say here public static high score. And we call it the high score. represents the high score object. Okay. And now we need to add it to the list. So in the initialize methods we can say here add the high score objects to the object list. So Object list dot add high score is new high score right so now we can run the game. And we can see the high score on the screen. And in a later tutorial, we're going to build the came over class. And then we set the came over flag. And then the high score class writes the new high score to the file on the disk. Right? So and now you can see the high score is zero. Right? I'm going to finish the tutorial here and in the next tutorial we're going to create the lives class so we can see at the left bottom how many lives we ha have. Alright? I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!